So if we just make a directory here called Sinatra Demo. Create any file name you want. So we'll do like a mate um, hello.rb. Here you do a require. And its syntax is really the verb in front, so like get, put, uh, post, and uh, just delete, right? Um, so you do a uh, get, and then the path you want, so like that's root, um, do hello, end. That's like all you need to do for a... Um, a home page that just says hello with no HTML tags. So if you run it from the command line, you do a Ruby and then whatever the file name is, .rb. It looks happy. It's running on port 4567. Four, That's the normal one it runs on. So you do localhost 567. There's hello. It's pretty basic. Um, <laughs> Pretty easy to get into and start start messing around. The, the thing about uh, Sinatra, though, is you have to like restart it every time you make a change because it, it runs and puts it all in memory. Um, there's a I don't know if it's if there's any better tools. I used to use one called a gem called Shotgun. You run Shotgun and the name of the file, and it auto it auto loads itself. So if you're doing a lot of like kind of hacking on it and stuff, just run it through Shotgun. And you don't have to keep stopping it. Um, but if you like, let's like let's do like a um, a get post form or something. So if we do a um, HTML body form action equals a chi method equals post. And then in here, let's do like a, an input type equals text, uh, name equals my name. Oh, I don't need this one. And then a, uh, another input type equals submit. So we have a submit form. It won't do anything because there's no um, there's no post action inside. So you get this little ditty. <laughs> um, so if we go back in here and um, add a post, and then the path we said was high. So you do a high here, whatever you you want to target. This would be whatever you want to do. So you could say. Um, params colon what do we call it? My name. I think we could probably just I don't think we need all the HTML, I think we can just say hello. This is the last line of the block and it gets returning the request. Yep. Yep. So if we just say Chris, there, hello Chris. So I mean, you want to do some real simple, like especially non-database stuff or API stuff. Sinatra is is still the one I go to. Um, so Tropo has a um, kind of a sister API for SMS only. It's called SMSified. <clears throat> it's pretty cool because it's um, it's a REST based API for sending and receiving SMS messages and they're penny a message. If you read that top little black bar it says that we haven't implemented billing yet. 
so it's actually free <laughs> until we get around to implementing billing. Um, it's a pretty easy uh, API, and there's a, a Ruby gem called uh, SMSify. And there's a post here in the blog. If you just Google like uh, SMSified Ruby Gem, um, I mean that's it. So you can require SMSified. You set your credentials. Um, you could do put them in a YAML file or something external, pull them in, and then um, that's basically like to send an SMS. You basically just populate that that data. So I was thinking we could probably do this. We could probably switch this up and say. Um, Instead of name, we'll call this uh, phone number or something like that. And right in front of it, we'll say uh, enter your phone number. And here, let's let's just let me just copy and paste this code. Put uh, these two files up at the top. Let's put these two lines inside of here. Actually, let's get rid of them. We'll make that work. And then uh, I changed my password so I can just use test for today. If you guys see that. Um, it does ask you so, so the address is the phone number that SMSified. Uh, gives you on your account, so it's free to sign in. When you sign in to SMSified, it's going to have a phone number already assigned to your account. That's your SMS number. So it goes in this address spot. I think you can leave the dashes in. I think you can do it without the one, but I'm running uh, Ruby 1.92, and it seems like the last time I ran this on Ruby 1.92, it didn't work. I might need to drop back to 1.87. So we'll see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. No. Let's use this. Let's use the phone number. So what we're doing is we're going to ask it for uh, your phone number on, on the get. And then on the post, we're going to just send an SMS with that caller ID. It's going to say that. And um, change the phone. Oh, thank you. That would be better. Let's see if this thing works. Well, you know what we probably should end? We'll see if this goes off. But we probably, if we'd have ended this like with uh, some um, text that says your message has been sent, that would have been better. Does the uh, API give you like a response status or anything like that? Like a it, sent successfully? It does. Um, yeah, so I think we probably could have done like this. We probably could say result. <coughs> and then say your message status. I think. I normally get the message right now, so something. Probably haven't um, written a 2s method for that object, so it can't turn into a string. Oh, it's weird. Why is it saying username Jimmy? <laughs> Who's Jimmy? <laughs> That's bizarre. I think.
think you're right. I think that's the problem. You probably can't inspect uh, on it. So I guess so. <laughs> like that? Yeah. I'll probably just give you the object ID. Though. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. It should be good, right? Hmm. Yeah, it seems like that should be good. Yeah, but where's the text of our I love Ruby? So I think uh, all you have to do now is um, change the title of that page to Text Your X. Right? <laughs> and create a form for what we want to say. Put some SEO and on it. We've, we've got our startup from <laughs> last meeting, right? I think you're right. So what I did there is I switched back to Ruby 1.8.7. Seemed like I, I had to do this before with SMS by it. I'm not sure if that was the problem. <coughs> Looks like the same results. No, they're in different order. So does that Topher account have a, a whitelist on it? And that number's not in there? So what's weird is that I logged in with that number. I logged in as Topher. And that's the number that's in my account. Topher. I wonder what this logs does. Say that again? Some sort of phonetic prejudice in the of race. <laughs> I used to, in high school, I used to get called Topher all the time. It's Christopher. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of embarrassing. I'll tell you what, hang on. Let's, let's, let's try something. Take that result. Let me just do this. That should work. Let's say bad request. Read. Bad request. 
Press 400 bad quest. Can you send it to yourself? So that's what I was doing. I was sending. No, I mean, like, use the other number, your address number. Can you just send it to yourself? Oh, that's the problem. I, I have these wrong. That's the problem. Sender address is the seven. Oh, I'm sitting here freaking out. Let's let's do that. Let me let me swap these. That's exactly the problem. Yeah, that's what, that's what I just found. P O L zero zero one four exception. Yeah. The number you're attempting to use as your sender address is not a number on your account. Created read body equals true. Yay. We haven't proceeded yet, so I better hold my applause. <laughs> so let's. There it is. I love Ruby. Okay. So now, now let's go back. Let's say uh, change this one to params phone. You know what? Let's also add a um, text area here. Yeah. Make it fancy. And just say name equals uh, method. And we'll change this out for params message. Okay, I think we're in business. Let's run this again. That's ugly, but uh, hello, this is a test. I still have the inspect. Yeah. That's probably good. Hello, this is a test. Okay. Nice. Sinatra's pretty cool. I mean, for just being able to like get in there, you know, without having to like set up a big project, just uh, especially for API calls, you've got a lot of control on, um, um, especially verbs. Like when you're dealing with APIs that have to do like all CRUD activity in the verb of the message, this is this is good. the limit of my knowledge of Sinatra. <coughs> Anyone have any questions? Y'all thirsty? <laughs>